Hello, everyone. So I would like to demonstrate how to create a website. There are so many great templates that you can use to create a simple, efficient website. And um, I'll be using Google. I'll be using the Google template to create a website. The serious computer programmers know how to build a website from scratch using coding, but technology has made it where even if you don't know how to code, you can use uh, website templates to create a, a website for your business. And it's amazing the features that are available in these um, different website templates. So I would like to use the Google website template. I think it is very easy to use. And as I said, even if you're not very experienced in building websites, these templates are so user-friendly that anyone with a basic knowledge of using a computer can build a website. So, I'm going to go ahead and create a website. I'm going to be sharing my screen. So now I'm sharing my screen. I like to use the Google browser because as I said um, before, it's the Google browser is very easy to use and I'm going to navigate to where I can choose the Google apps. So if you're using the Google browser, if you go to the right of the screen, the upper right hand corner of the screen, and you will see, let's see, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dots, a square in this, uh, rather I should say nine dots in the shape of a square. Click on that and that will bring up the, Google Apps, and there are a number of them here. I think I might have to do a separate video where we explore the different apps and what we can use them to do. So I am going to use the app that can help me to create a a simple website. So let's go ahead and make this larger. Helpful products built with you in mind. Oh, thank you, Google. You shouldn't have, but you should have, and I'm glad you did. <laughs> All right. So browse all products. There you have all the Google products. And I will 
be looking for the tool to build a website. Oh, there it is, sites. So I'll click on this, it says sites. Welcome to the new Google Sites. Effortlessly create beautiful sites for your team, project, or event. You can still use classic sites by going to sites.google.com slash classic. Got it. So basically, this is saying that they had a previous version of their websites. And now they have a new version. And we, of course, we're going to use the new version. So I'm going to click on it. Thank you for the information, Google. So we're going to start a new website. And it gives us the option to do a blank website, uh, depending on the type of website that you want. It can give you a pre-formatted website based on the type of business that you have or the purpose of your website. You have many options to choose from. So since I love food so much, let's look at the restaurant template. So I'm clicking on restaurant template. And waiting for, for it to come up. And here we have the template. And it gives us a message, add content. Use the insert menu to add content to your site. You can move content, change the size, and drop images. Next, move things around to organize your site, drag the content to where you want it. Next, work with others, share your site to let others edit it with you. So wherever you are in the world or wherever your friends are, you all could collaborate on a shared project using Google. Next, when you're happy with your site, publish it so others can see it. Okay, got it. So, so let's take a look at our screen. Um, as I said, the template very user-friendly. You just click on wherever you want to change and it allows you to modify it according to how you want it to look. So restaurant name, what should we call our restaurant? What should we name our restaurant? Jam, I love Jamaican food. We're going to name our restaurant, I Love Jamaican Food. Write a short tagline about your restaurant. Okay. I love Jamaican food very much and wanted to share it with you. I'll delete this. All right, so my restaurant is coming along. My restaurant website. Here you have the menu, home, contact us, chef, <laughs> which is me. <laughs> And the menu. 
So let's look at some of these features. You have insert where you can insert a text box. You can insert images that you may have stored on your computer or on a flash drive. This is to embed, I guess, a, diff a widget. I guess we'll just click on these different features as we go along. What's this? Content blocks. So this shows how you can arrange your content on your, or organize your content on your screen. And you can go ahead and play with all of these different buttons to see what they do. This one says collapsible group, table of contents, image carousel, button, divider, placeholder, YouTube, you can add videos, calendar, map. Of course, you want people to know where to find you. Documents, slides, sheets, forms, charts. So, I really should have had a picture that I could use. And this says, tell site viewers about your establishment in a few sentences, make them feel welcome and invited to visit. So I just go ahead and click here and tell, I'm just gonna tell everybody about my restaurant. The best restaurant in the world. Come by. Um, authentic Jamaican food. All right. Ooh. Press coverage, add a quote from press or customer review, link to source. So here you can have your friends give a testimonial about your product and you can put it here let's see what this says contact us so location type your address one two three Jamaican Street. Jamaican Town. One, two, three, Jamaican streets. Jamaican town. Jamaica. So, I think this was supposed to remain location, location. And the great, let's, let's put this in, let's see if we can align this. There you go. So we have the address. And so, the great thing about Google is once you put in this address, Google will find it on the map, right? Contact us. 
email, phone number, address. You put in this information here, shows hours of operation. You can insert your own image right here. Describe the customer experience in detail. What makes the environment here unique? When the customer them come here, them love the food, bad, bad. All right. So that's the experience. Okay. Of course, we'll change these pictures. Tell your site viewers more about the establishment. What does the, the space look like? What type of environment should someone expect when they arrive? Okay, so the place nice, you see. You have to see it to believe it. Come on down. All right, so so we've told our site viewers about the establishment. And here you can edit the footer, put in your address. Let's edit the footer. One, two, three, Jamaican Street. Phone number. Eight seven six. One two three four five six seven. And email. So email. What was email? Um, I love. Oh. Oops. I love Jamaican food. Eight seven six at gmail dot com, and there you have it. So we we just did uh We just did the contact us page and let us look at chef. So chef, <gasps> well, that is definitely not my picture, but let's, let's leave that for now. Here is where you can write a bio about the chef. How did they get started? Where did they train? What are the chef's philosophies about dining and eating? Let your viewers know about who creates the menu and drives the vision of the restaurant. This chef can cook. Well, we hope he can cook. <laughs> How did they get started? The chef started in 
his kitchen. Where did they train? A mother teach him how to cook. What are the chef's philosophies about dining and eating? Him love to see people enjoy them food. Let your viewers know about who creates the menu and drives the vision of the restaurant. I think that seems obvious. You get the point, right? And so that is how you write the bio. And here we have another picture of the chef in action. A caption for the image. As I said, as you can see, guys, this website is so user friendly. We'll change this caption and we'll put the chef cooking something sweet. All right. And so this page is so user friendly and what? Low battery, your Mac will sleep soon unless plugged into a power outlet. Oh, let me get the power outlet. Back. We wouldn't want our we wouldn't want to see our our screen go dark. Okay. What styles of cooking should your diners expect to find at this restaurant? Tell us more about the kitchen and the inner workings. So you get it there. You can scroll the website and look at that. We don't have to edit the footer on this page because it was already saved from the previous page. And now the next uh page that we'll go to is the menu page so for the menu page what's on the menu and reservations and uh, as you can see, I'm just scrolling down. You can click on this and it allows you to edit the picture. And We can change the, 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 the names of the dishes. So you guys, you get the general idea. Google does um, a great job of making the site user-friendly so that you can 
create a website in min minutes and you can launch the website by clicking the publish button on the at the upper right hand corner so we'll click publish publish to the web web address custom domain make it easier for people to visit your site with custom domain like www.yourdomain.com so let's start the setup of our domain we can use a domain from a third party or we can buy a domain right we can buy a domain from google so it says this will open google domains where you can search and buy a domain next so let's 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 buy the domain i love Jamaican food 876. Dear Google, we would like to buy this domain. And Google shows us that you can buy this domain. You can get um, at ending.com.net.org.info.us. And this shows, if you click on this, it'll show the different endings. And to buy this domain, it's gonna be $12 per year. I think that's not bad. And it just gives us uh, different, different domains that we can purchase. So um, I've decided that um, I will save that for later, but I just wanted to show you how you could purchase this domain. Let's go back. Create your own theme. Now, um, let's click on that. Create your own theme. Untitled themes. Let's just put Jamaican. And here you can add a logo and you can add a banner image. The Jamaican colors, the colors of the Jamaican flag black, green, and gold. So I think that um, a great theme. So far the theme is okay, you know. Um, preset colors, custom colors. Let's see if we click on this, what it would look like. Next. And this gives the font for the titles and headings the font for the body let's see what happens oh i love it i love it i love it yes nice i like this theme yeah i like it let's see how it looks on the contact us page um not bad not bad, I think it adds something. Let's look at the chef page. And the menu page. Not bad, I like it, I like this theme. 
So friends, uh, the, oh, what's this over here? Section colors, duplicate section, delete section. All right, so I think we did a general overview of the features that you can use to create a simple website for your business. So thank you so much for watching my video. Websites are very important. And in this modern world that we live, the website is like a business card, an online business card. So if you have a small business, you definitely need a website. So thank you for watching my video and I will explore different ways to establish your online presence in another video. See you soon.